Hello everyone, this is Shanika, your favorite Convacidor here with another YouTube tutorial helping you learn how to create desktop wallpaper. So I searched desktop, desktop wallpaper within Canva and as you know, Canva always offers a ton of templates. You can simply choose which one works best for you and your project. Remember, the Canva templates that have a crown beside them are for pros, meaning certain elements within those templates can only be used by people who are a Canva Pro member, and those things are not available to non-Canva Pro members. So I am uploading this template. As you can see, it comes already with various elements inside of it. This is what I did for myself, for my desktop. So I'm showing you how to use that same template but just doing something different. Well, it's not the same tem template but by the same creator, all right? And so she has added other templates for this desktop wallpaper. So here I am just taking away, deleting some elements that I do not want to have on this particular template for you all. So I'm deleting those things off of there and getting it to be what I need it to be as we build it back up to seeing how we can create all right so looking at my layers to make sure that i am deleting what i do not want shown everything i want gone should be gone once i go through my layers and delete what i don't want there and that was the calendar portion i don't want the calendar on there i'm going to put something else there so now pretty much have a blank slate I'm going over to my elements and I'm going to click on my frames and I'm going to add a frame on top of both of those Polaroid elements because I want it to be an easy drag and drop when I add my pictures onto those Polaroid frames. So just drag and drop and place it there and position it exactly how I need it and want it to be so that it will be able to be used by me. All right, still playing around with it and moving things along. Sometimes I have to enlarge my canvas within Canva to make sure that I can see how it um, looks for me. Sometimes the smaller it is, the harder it is for me to manipulate. So going to my elements to make sure that I have that frame just below that clip because I want it to appear as though it is a part of the actual photo and not just resting on top, right? So shifting things around, I just simply copy that same exact frame and put it down below right here. And again, moving it below so that it is clipped there. All right, moving things around head it back over to my elements I am going to let this be a theme for girl power empowerment so going to Canva they offer a lot of elements y'all so I'm going to Canva to see what I can find to help spruce up this desktop wallpaper so I'm looking around seeing what is there and i am going to rest right here on this girl power of course make it smaller so that i can place it right there but in order for it to stand out i am going to change the color of it from pink and i want it to become white so that it stands out and we can it can easily be red all right we have girl power right there making sure everything is in place but i still want to have some other wording something else that will be for girl power something to promote women so still searching in canva and seeing what they have there going through these images and this is just me playing around showing you how to use it of course if this were to be for sale I would not use all these pro Canva elements if I was going to let this be a um, an editable template. Then I could use these Canva Pro elements. But just remember, 
when your customer downloads, they have to have Canva Pro to use whatever elements you place in there if they're pro elements. So I chose this, Her Story Matters. So now I'm going back in just to change the color of it so it can be cohesive and match the other colors that I have there. Changing up the coloring to see exactly how I want it to go and what I want it to be. Still shifting things around. Again, I go back to my white. Just trying to um, let it become a cohesive design. So, now I'm going on to my uploads. Don't judge me. My uploads folder is a hot mess, but I now can find my stuff here. Okay. So, I am going to find my images because if you don't know, I'm an AI art girly. Okay. So, I have AI art that was included in my back to school editable template I'm going to use for this. So this desktop wallpaper will be geared toward a preteen. So I'm going to find those particular elements or images and then drag and drop them onto my frames that I already have placed on this desktop wallpaper. So head it down here. And these were so cute, y'all. I really, really, really enjoyed doing these. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one and bring it over. Now you must know that when you use a Canva frame, the frame automatically takes shape of that image. However, you see my girl is cut off, right? So I have to undo and then just crop her some more so that the majority of her will then be in this frame and she will not be cut off. So I had to crop it down a little more and then place her back there. So now I am going to grab another one of my AI art girls and again crop that down some and then just drop that into the other frame that is there. And now I have my three girls here. I think I'm going to swap this out because mm, I just wanted something different, right? So I'm going to place them here where I had her story matters and place them there and then just size it down some so that it fits onto the pink paper. And of course, I'm going to make sure that I have my layers correct so that the paper clip is on top of the image and not the other way around because you want it to be as though it's part of and not just placed on top of. So doing that and finding the correct layer and having it underneath that layer works best. All right, so now looking at what I have so far, I am going to enlarge this paper right here and then add a quote to the paper. So we have Girl Power, we have our three images here. And so I want to add a quote add a statement piece in here for our little girl or preteen to be able to read whenever she opens up her computer, iPad or whatever. Um, so I am going to stick with my popping font. Didn't change up too much, right? So this one just says, I am, and then I'm going to enlarge it so that it is big because I increased the size of my paper. So I need to make sure my font size is good as well. Have that there. And then the next word I'm going to put is, in its kind. So just a bit of motivation. So I'll put in the word kind. And then for that, I am going to be sure to use a font that's called Better Saturday. And Better Saturday can be found within Canva. It is a nice script font that will be placed there. And then I'm going to increase the size of that to make sure it can be read, seen, and then change the color of that font to be pink to kind of match what else we have going on to make sure that things are cohesive for this particular design. So again, I'm just sizing it here and kind of putting it at an angle so that it kind of stands out a tad. And again, changing the color from black, it'll be going from black to 
purple to pink, excuse me, to make sure that it stands out. All right, so we have that there. And now just looking at everything else that we have, we want to make sure that it flows cohesively, right? So I'm going to try to find some flowers that will kind of go along with this. We already have some daisies here, but I want to remove the other flowers you see on the right-hand side. So I'm just looking up different flowers to see exactly which one I want to use for this particular design. Again, back in my Canva Elements, looking through and seeing what flowers they have there. And of course, if you are a Creative Fabrica member, you can always, always, always go to Creative Fabrica, find what you love and like, and then import that into Canva to then use. Of course, I suggest putting that into a folder so you can find it with ease and know where you're going and be able to navigate it. Also, you can always, you know, go to Camp Creative Fabrica as well and then save those downloads into your external so you can always have them with you. But it's up to you how you so choose to do it. I would suggest Canva if this is your your particular program of choice. It'll always be there for you. No need for an external, but you do what works best for you. You know what you need better than I do. So here I am finding my flowers. Again, kind of put them in a cat corner and stretch them out to kind of again have the same flow and feel for the entirety of the desktop wallpaper so i have these flowers and i love canva they give you the magic recommendations so you click on those things and find even more flowers that kind of go along with what you are doing to bring your project together so still doing that looking at my flowers bringing things in and i want to also bring in this big bushel right here and bring it up to the left hand corner and then I'm going to place it behind my um, AI art girls so that the, the girl can be seeing the flowers are there but you can still see my girl as well. So once you get everything in place then you'll follow the same steps as always when you try to export an item from Canva. You go to share, go to download, and then once you have your image downloaded as a PNG, you then upload that to your settings for your desktop wallpaper screensaver, whichever one you so choose to use it for. You follow your computer's instructions to then place that image where you want it to be, either for your screensaver or for your wallpaper. You decide... The placement for that but that can be found within your settings on your particular computer so here i am still just shifting things around to place them exactly where i need to be you can play around with this as much as you so choose to a lot a little or none it's up to you so do me a favor and be sure you subscribe to my youtube channel so you can be aware of the next time I drop a brand new video. I plan to have videos coming to you on a monthly basis. So be sure to subscribe and watch out for that. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll be sure to answer you in real time. I will answer your comment, your question in the comment section. So I thank you all for watching this video. Here I am just still moving things around, shifting kind of sort of, but... I hope you understand the gist of what I'm offering, what I've shown, shown you in this mini tutorial. I hope it helps you all, and I cannot wait to see your desktop screensavers. Be sure to tag me in what you create. Ask any questions. Follow me on my socials, TikTok, Royal Statements, YouTube, Royal Statements, Facebook, Royal Statements, Instagram, Royal Statements, SC. My website is royalstatements.com. I will have courses coming up very, very soon where you can learn at your own pace on demand. And I cannot wait to see all that you all create. Thank you for joining me. Again, I am Shanika, your favorite ambassador, here helping with another Canva tutorial, working on wallpaper desktop for your computer using Canva and Canva templates. All right. Thank you all so much. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.